guys, it's Chatty Mo. Welcome back to our Ghostbuster Spirit Proton Pack mod series. This is episode two. Today, we're going to be upgrading the light kit on the Spirit Proton Pack. We're going to upgrade the Cyclotron, the Power Cell, and a couple other features. Here's what it looked like before. Let's get into it. But before we do, click that like button and please subscribe. Thanks and enjoy. This is the light upgrade kit we're going to be installing. It's from Ghost Lab 42. All the parts you see come in the kit. I will put a link in the description for their e store so you can purchase this kit yourself. It's got reflectors, three pre printed and pre. Um, Soldered circuit boards that we're going to snap off. All your connecting cables. A new lens for the power meter. Some mounting brackets and some extra hardware. You're also going to need some wire cutters, a screwdriver, and a hot glue gun. Alright guys, let's get to it. First thing you're going to want to do is turn your pack over. And remove the motherboard. Now I've already taken my screws out, but underneath the fabric, there's five little screws. And they go right through the cardboard into the pack. If you don't want to completely remove your fabric like I did, you can just find where the screws are with your fingers and just cut little slits and pull them right through. So with your pack open, here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be changing out the power meter and all these electronics as well as the cyclotron lights. In case you're wondering what these brackets are, these are from the pack mount to the Alice frame, uh, which I did in my last video. So if you want to see what that's about, go check that out. Okay, so with the back open, the first thing you want to do is we're going to disconnect the power cell light from here and we're going to remove the lens that's on it, which is just a piece of clear acrylic. So we're going to clip the orange and white wires. We're going to get this other lens out of here. It's hot glued in. You might have to cut it with a knife or something. Just be careful. You can 
gently push it through from the other side. It's just a little thin piece of plastic, nothing too special. The LED light that's in here, we won't be needing for now. If you want to use it for some other part of the pack, you can. show you how to mount the control board. cell area we're gonna prepare the control board so in the kit there's this this is actually three circuit boards pre-printed but you gotta separate them I have a pair of pliers that I put a folded stack of electrical tape on each end you can use this you can use a pair of like a box wrench just be careful not to snap anything or mark up the electronics. So just very carefully grab the circuit board. And just slowly bend it along the line. Do one side and then the other. And they'll separate. So these two skinny ones, these are for the cyclotron lights. We'll use them in a second. <clears throat> Be really careful not to grip any of the components. I just noticed that a uh, little Stay puffed guy in the corner. Nice touch.
Take your time if necessary. You don't want to crack it. Okay, there we go. So this is the one we're going to be focusing on first. This is the control board. It also has the lights for the power cell. In this bag, you have the new lens for the power cell. It's a piece of blue acrylic. Protective paper on both sides. I'll take one off for now, but I'm going to leave the other one on until we do the final install. So you can see, nice, nice heavy duty thick plastic compared to the flimsy thing it came with. Also in this bag, a couple of mounting brackets and some screws. wires and a couple of wire nuts so let's pull all that out and keep it to the side now I want to take the mounting brackets and the lens and test fit them on the back Depending on which version of the pack you have, there may be a little post here. That's what that hole is for. But we're not going to use it. And the mounting brackets have little tabs that should fit right around the plastic of the shell here. So it's going to go in just like this. Looks like that'll fit real good. I'm going to screw this together real quick and then we'll put it in the back. The control board's going to get attached to the top of the brackets. I'm doing this over my magnetic tray just in case I drop a screw. I won't lose it. This is going to go in right over the lens. Just like that. But before I put it in, I'm going to take the uh, paper off the other side. I think we're good to go.
set that back in place, slide the control board right on top, it should be snug. This is not quite flush, so I'm going to reseat it. And once it's all the way in, we're going to hot glue it in place. Only glue the bracket, make sure you don't put any glue on the electronics. Just a couple dabs is all you need. Now with the cool cools, I'm going to assemble the cyclotron reflectors. So you just take these and they just slip right over and snap in place. You'll find a little pin on one side of the reflector that goes in the hole on the circuit board. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this top board, but we're not going to take it out. We're just going to move it out of the way. Now we're going to completely remove the bottom board, but we need to save the screws from both of them. Just to be a little bit safe, I'm going to take the two wires from the old power cell light and just put a little electrical tape on them just to keep them isolated. Again, the top board, if you're going to use the pack sound, you need to keep it. If you're using the Matty Blaster or the GB Fans soundboard, then you don't need to use this. But for now, we're going to keep the pack sound. So, we want to keep this board, but we just got to get it out of the way. What we don't need is the bottom board. So, I'm just going to cut that off. And save the screws. Even though we're not using the board, we still need the screws. This is the old Cyclotron lights. This is the new Cyclotron lights. Much better. Just work at the wires for the power cell light. I'm just going to put a little electrical tape just to make sure they don't touch anything they're not supposed to. I'm going to 
carefully lift this out of the way. We'll find a place to put it when we're done. So, the new cyclotron lights are labeled top and bottom. You just gotta decide whether you want the lights to go clockwise or counterclockwise. I want them to go counterclockwise. Correction, clockwise. So, where it says clockwise is gonna face up. And now we're going to do the same thing for the bottom one. So clockwise, facing up. Okay, now with those in place, we're going to just tape this with electrical tape just out of the way so it doesn't dangle around. Here we go, nothing fancy. Our next step is to connect all the wires to all the different components. This black and red wire, this is going to be for the power. We'll get to that in a minute. So you got two sets of wires that are yellow, white, green, red. These are for the cyclotrons. Let's get those connected. I'm going to plug them right into these two. Right here, you got top and bottom. In the kit is a set of wires, black, red, and white. These are if you're going to use the vent light, which would go on the bottom of the pack. At this time, I'm not going to use it. I might add it later. So, for now, I'm just going to put it to the side. We're finally ready to connect the power. What we need to do is tap this into the existing battery supply. If you're going to use the Matty Blaster or the um, the GB Fan soundboard, you're going to have to have a separate power supply just for this because that requires a different voltage and it won't work with this. For the time being, we're using the stock soundboard, so this is how we're going to do it. We're 
We're gonna cut the wire coming from the power pack to the original sound control board. We're going to slightly separate these wires and then strip off about half an inch of the insulation. I'm going to do the same on both ends of this. This is the black and red standalone wire that comes with the kit. Again, separate the ends just a little bit, just to make it easier to work with. And then strip off about a half an inch on all the wires. Using the two wire nuts that came with the kit, they're going to connect together all the reds and all the blacks. to pre-twist my wires just to make sure they get a nice grip in the wire nut but you don't have to just make sure that you're pushing firmly into the nut so that all the wires get bite and make sure that none of them pull loose Same for the black. Again, make sure that none of the wires pull out. And then we're going to take the black and red and connect them to the control board. Black is going to go on the bottom. Red's gonna go on the top. Using a flathead screwdriver, you're gonna push these in from the side and then screw them tight. This little white knob here, that's for controlling the different modes of the lights. Um, I'm going to keep it on standard, but if you you can set it to slime blower mode or Mason collider mode, you could change the pattern of the cyclotron. If you want information on that, I'll leave instructions in the uh, in the link description. Now that we've got everything connected, we should be all good to go. I'm going to just uh, do a quick test, just to make sure everything lights up. Then we'll close up the back and see how it looks.
don't know if you can see that the cyclotron lights are cycling, but I did notice that this was flashing a little bit too bright. So I'm just going to cover those old lights, the ones that we pushed aside, with some electrical tape. And there we have it, guys. The lighting kit's installed. We're all set to go. I'm going to close up the back, and we're going to see how this looks. Cycling Cyclotron. It's looking awesome. So that's it, guys. We got the light kit installed. The back is really starting to come to life. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like. Please subscribe. It really helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time.